WebSocket is a computer communication protocol providing full duplex communication channels over a single TCP connection. Using this protocol, server also can push data to client even if client not requested that data. For example, a chat application. If you send a message to your friend using the chat application, the server receives this message and push that message to your friend. So this is how WebSocket works. But if you want to know more, you can check out this site websocket.org or you can check the Wikipedia. So in your case, if you are developing a flutter based cross platform mobile application and you need to use WebSocket, then there is a uh, package third party library called web underscore socket underscore channel. Using that you can use WebSocket. So today we will learn how to create a simple application and use the WebSocket channel in our flutter application. Here in the websocket.org there is a uh, simple API so using that you can connect and test that whether websocket is working or not. For example if you visit this page websocket.org slash eco.html here you will see that you can connect the websocket channel and if you send any message uh, the websocket URL receive that message and forward it back to you. So we will create the same application in our flutter so here in our uh, demo you can see that if i write something like uh, life is good and click send this message goes to this uh, ws colon forward to forward slash eco dot websocket dot org and when uh, it receive and it forward back that message and then we when we receive the message we are just showing this in the in the list okay so today we will create this application to learn how to use websocket in our flutter application so let's create a flutter application so here we open our project and i just remove everything so now we need to install the third party library that is used to for websocket connection and websocket data retrieval we need to install this WebSocket channel 1.0.15 package for our application to use WebSocket. So let's copy this dependencies, come here and go to the pubspec.yml and paste it under Cupertino icons. Save this thing and click packages get. And it will be installed in your project. Now let's create our demo. We don't have any uh, WebSocket demo widget, so let's create a stateful widget. In this demo, I am just simply using a stateful widget, but in a real life application, I will either use Redux or Block or even Provider to manage the state. So here in this WebSocket demo, let's uh, define a uh, channel, WebSocket channel. So we will be using WebSocket channel, this class from WebSocket uh, package. And you will see when I use this WebSocket channel, uh, the library is automatically imported in this file. Okay. So here channel and let's uh, use the IO WebSocket channel dot connect method to connect the WebSocket URL. So in our case, we will go to this page and websocket.org.ecotest and here we will just copy this thing, this websocket URL and come to our project and paste it in here. Okay. Now let's uh, define this websocket uh, demo state class. So we are going to use the column layout so that at the top row we can add a text field and a button and, and the second row and for and onward we can use just the list, list style to uh, create a message and show in the user interface. So let's run this demo first. 
so you are seeing that a text field and a button is added but the button is disabled because i uh, yet not uh, define the on pressed event for this button anyway so let's modify this text field so that it looks a bit better so if i save this you see now that this text field looks a bit better and i can type anything okay another thing we need we need to use a text editing controller so that we can collect the text when the button is pressed so for that we need to define a property here so final we will give the name input controller input controller and we will be using uh, text editing controller we are instantiating this text editing controller and assign this in the input controller and here in the text field for the controller property we can pass this input controller okay so using this input controller we can now access this text field to collect the data now i want to uh, see that if i click the send i just want to uh, show the message in the console first okay so here in the raise button after the child i want to define an on pressed event so here what I want to do, I want to check that input controller dot text is not empty. Then I just want to print the text. Text simple. So if I save this thing and now you see that the send button is active and if I write something life is cool and click send, you see here in the console it is showing life is cool. So that means this button is working and also after that i want to clear this text from the uh, input controller so using input controller dot text i just have to assign empty and if i save this thing and now again if i click you will see that uh, the text will be cleared so now what we want to do is that uh, when i write something in here uh, that message will be added in a list so to do that let's define a list first so now what i want to do in this case just here after input controller dot uh, before input controller dot text equals empty i want to add message list dot add and input controller dot text so if you uh, write something and now click send it will be added in this message list let's create a helper function to create that bottom part widget Now I want to just loop uh, this message list so that I can access each of the items from the message list. And then I will also use the child and uh, use a text widget where I will be passing this message uh, property. Okay, so this message here and then I want to give some style our helper function get message list is done now use this helper function get message list uh, after this row now let's write something life is cool I click send and uh, okay here what I need to do I have to use a as we define this uh, this message list within the state full widget so we have to use the set text property to re-render this uh, part okay so here I will be using uh, set state property and then message dot add so if I click that, you see now it is showing life is cool. Uh, another test. And if I click test, you see this is showing. So our UI is done. Now what we want to do, we want to connect this uh, WebSocket channel, which we already created in the widget property. So in the WebSocket demo, here you see that we define a variable or property name channel where we are using the IO WebSocket channel dot connect method to connect this websocket.org right now here 
if i want i can also uh, this uh, this channel has a stream so if i want i can use a stream builder widget to create this stream so let's first do that and later i will show you another way instead of using the stream builder you can also subscribe or listen the stream yourself in different way so let's first use the stream builder so here in the expanded widget we are using just child get message list right but instead of uh, doing that we are going to use the stream builder method sorry stream builder widget and where in the stream property we can pass widget dot channel dot stream because that channel has a stream and then in the builder property we can define the function that how our ui will react based on that So here what I want to do in the builder function that if snapshot has data then I just want to add that data and here in the set state I will remove this thing. So I will be no longer using this on press button to add that message to our message list. Instead I will send that message to uh, the channel and I will use the stream builder to get the updated data from that channel dot stream okay so here in the message list dot add i will be using snapshot dot data and finally i will uh, return get message list this i will call this uh, method so that it will return a list view which will be uh, using to use this message list to render some widget now the most important part where do you want to use a web socket you need to uh, send data on that channel right that's the important thing so here uh, after this print input controller.tx text i want to do that widget dot uh, channel dot sync dot add so input controller.txt so basically we are using this sync object to add our text so that uh, in the uh, web socket channel it will uh, sync or add this uh, message to the web socket and when web socket uh, returns a reply uh, in our case it will be the same reply same message will be uh, get that thing in our stream builder widget so let's rerun this program again and now if i write something live is cool and click send you will see basically this life is cool is added to this uh, channel by the sync dot add method and in our stream builder we get the response okay and now if i write something different another test you will see it is working so this is how we can use web socket using the stream builder widget now i will show you that how to use this web socket without stream builder so here in the child section we no longer use this stream builder we just use this get get message list method and now if i rerun this program and if i write something you will see nothing will happen because uh, the we do not uh, listen the channel well, that's why we cannot see any updated message so let's do this so here we define the widget dot channel right and we want to uh, get a reference in here after the input controller before this info input controller final web socket channel and give the same name channel and let's define a default constructor web socket and here i will be use this channel so that i can pass this channel from this widget to this web socket demo state class so here i will be using channel uh, channel okay so we are basically passing this channel reference to this web socket demo state in our previous case we are using widget dot channel but uh, when you can when you want to access this uh, channel property that is defined in this widget not in this state in that case you can only in the 
widget build method in the build method you can access that property using widget dot channel but if in the constructor if i want or if i define it here other method where i just call that uh, widget dot channel it will not work because the widget this build method have to work first otherwise you cannot access that widget dot channel that's why we are basically forwarding this channel to our WebSocket demo state and now what I want to do in here in the default constructor I want to listen the channel channel dot stream dot listen okay and here you will get some data so I will use another uh, function here and what I want to do when I get when I listen that data I want to update my state first I want to print that data and second I want to add that data in our message list okay and here I just want to remove this print method from here and when in this case I do not want to use widget dot channel I just want to use channel dot sync because we are passing this channel property from widget to the state so we can access that and another thing uh, you have to do that you have to define a dispose method so in case this widget is no longer available you should dispose the necessary connection now let's rerun this program again and now if i write something life is cool and click send you will see the message uh, goes from here channel.sync.add and we are using this channel this uh, eco.websocket.org channel to send uh, this message and that uh, this channel also replies us and we are uh, listening the stream in in our constructor within this state so when we get the message we are just printing and we are adding that data in the message list dot and and as we are using this set state so it will uh, call the build method again and we can see that in here in the expanded child we are just calling the guest message list so that the uh, message list will be revealed in here again another test another test and click send you will see it's working so this is how we can use websocket uh, using either the stream builder widget or we can listen the channel separately the code is also available in this in my uh, mahmudas github.com slash mahmudas and slash think here you have to go to the flutter and then uh, small demo and here you can go to the web socket okay so thank you for watching and keep learning